currently in Distill, each of these pulses that I'm subscribed to ends up generating one email every day that goes into my inbox. And it's really nice because I'm getting highly personalized, curated information every day. However, it ends up being a lot of emails. For example, these are all the emails that I received from Distill over a three day time span. So my goal is to update the system so that all of these emails result in a daily digest email instead of individual pulses, users will receive all of their pulses compiled into a single daily digest. So across three days, I would get three emails and not about, you know, 20. From a user perspective, the benefit is clear. It will save them their inbox. And from a business perspective, the value is that I expect open rates to increase pretty significantly because I'll be sending fewer emails and individuals will be more motivated to open each one. The open rate is pretty high right now, hovering above 60%, but I still want to see how high I can get that open rate. Okay, so I've come into Cursor and I've read through the files to figure out for myself which files might be necessary to change to make these updates. I've written a large prompt that I'm providing into cursor chat. I want chat, which is actually 01, to help me think through how to make these architectural changes. I've also provided a series of files here to give extra context for 01 to read through so that it can get some context on how my application is set up and ultimately create a tech plan for me and a series of tickets that I can feed into Cursor. Okay, let's see how it does. The first ticket that 01 created is called Add Email Digest Setting to Users. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna copy this, provide the necessary file context, and paste it into Cursor's Composer feature. Ticket pasted in here, and the necessary files are added here for context. Now we can see Composer is busy making changes to the necessary files. Next, we read all the changes that Composer made. Everything looks pretty good, except for I already know that this change in the payments routes.js file is not necessary. So I'm going to reject that change, but the other ones I'm going to accept. You accept the changes by clicking this accept all button in the bottom right here. Okay, nice. Look at that. It added this uh, this toggle for me right here. Can I actually move it? I can. Let me check the database to see how that looks. Okay, so here I can see that there is a new field called Email Digest Enabled. Um, it's currently false. And if I come back to my app and toggle it on and check the database again, it is now set to true. So that's wonderful. It looks like um, this is uh, working as planned. So let's move on to the next ticket. The second ticket is about refactoring cron jobs to separate generation from email sending. That's one of the things I talked about in my original prompt to um, Claude, or I'm sorry, to 01. And uh, let's try this ticket out. Quick note for anyone who's watching this kind of more as a tutorial, always read the stuff before you just paste it into Composer, like read this ticket closely, understand what it's intended to do, decide if you agree with the approach, um, and you can always edit it if you think it's a little bit off. After reading through these changes, I realized that it's not quite what I need. So I'm following up with an additional prompt here, just telling Cursor, hey, this is close, but I need you to consider a few more details and make revise and then revise the changes that you're proposing, please. So now it's reading through my updated details and it's making some additional changes to the uh, PR it just kind of submitted to me. It's not technically a PR, it's just changes it's proposing that I need to review and either accept or reject. Okay, I read the changes. They look good and I accepted them. Um, I still need to test them, but something very fascinating just happened. So I just accepted the changes for ticket two, and then I came back over to chat to check out ticket three. And what I realized is that tickets three and four, the way that 01 wrote them, appear to have already been accomplished in ticket two. So you got to keep in mind, 01 in this case doesn't have the context that 
composer has in terms of the changes it just made. And so when I come back to O1 and I say, hey, are these really necessary? I think I already accomplished them. It doesn't know what changes I just made. And it's just referring back to its own tickets the way that it was originally intending them to behave. And it's saying, yes, actually they are necessary for these reasons. However, Claude and composer did such a good job with ticket two. I'm going to go ahead and skip ticket three. I'm going to skip ticket four. And I'm, and I'm going to go on to number five because I've already done the work of three and four. I just found a bug. So when I set this to true, it actually registers it in the database. However, however, when I refresh the page, it sets it back to false in the UI, even though in the database, it's still set to true. I think the console is trying to tell me something here. Okay, back in cursor, I'm describing the bug here, and then I'm giving it all of the console error messages that I found, and I'm providing two relevant files that I think it needs to figure out what the error is. And typically with that much context, Composer's able to sort it out in the first shot. Sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes three, but with this context, it should be okay, I would think. So right away, Composer saying, ah, the issue is because of X, Y, and Z. It seems to understand, and it's making a couple changes in the files that I provided it. So I just need to review those and test it. Okay, it looks like the bug is fixed on page reload. It's, it's persisting the state here, which is what we need. Say hi to my cat, by the way. Hey, this is Fenwick. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Okay, I'm testing out these new emails and I'm getting a bunch of errors. So I'm going to copy these errors, send them over to Composer, kind of explain the situation and say, hey, can you help me out with this? Hey, hey, look at that. We have a digest coming through. Your daily pulse digest. It's got the date here, today's pulses with a little table of contents. I like that touch. That was actually Cursor's idea, or maybe it was O1's idea to add a table of contents at the top. I think this is going to be a really nice enhancement for Distill's users to have all of their pulses organized into one daily digest so their inbox can be spared from all of the emails they've been receiving. I think we're going to see open rates increase on the business side, which, which will be a nice kind of product metric uh, win for us. Um, this is a lot of fun to build. I have a couple things I need to refine, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope this was informative and I hope you have fun building stuff yourself with cursor using similar techniques. Let me know what you're doing in the comments. And of course, always like and subscribe to check out more stuff like this. Peace.